This is the book of Luke chapter 17 and verse 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations that let's scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kodash, Barak Dum, to use a quanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwafium, you know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the whole for elect, out there laboring, keeping the commandments at the best of your ability, giving diligence, make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Yahweh Wa, Yahweh Shai. In these last days and these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Pashai, Bon Yasha Allah. This be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, going to the days of the Son of Man. You know, basically the days of Noah 2.0. You see that? Because we know Noah was a preacher of righteousness and he was preaching, you know, uh, that the flood was coming. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, destroyed the world back then with water, which is a cleansing mechanism, a cleansing agent, which is, you know, water, and so is fire. You know, in these last days, we letting people know that America get burnt up with fire and brimstone in different parts of the world as well, you know, in a form of ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. You see that? And the same um, um, element, um, sulfur, that's in brimstone, is inside these ICBMs, man. You see? So the same way the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, the same way the Heavenly Father going to destroy America, Babylon, the Great, in different parts of the world with that fire. You see? So we're, that's what we're preaching. We're letting people know, listen, this fire is coming, man. And, and um, I was looking it up not so long ago how um, um, a nuclear missile uh, basically is, is, is 100 million degrees, which I believe is seven times hotter than the sun. You see that? So as it was in days of Noah, you know, Noah was preaching the flood was coming and people didn't listen and stuff like that. People was mocking him, laughing at him, you know, saying he crazy. They didn't. Oh, we never seen rain before. You know what I'm saying? But then when, it, when that flood came, Noah entered to the ark. It was too late. It destroyed them all, man. It'll be the same way once the, once the elected beamed up to them chariots, everyone else can be looking up and they be like, damn, we was fools for thinking he was crazy, man. You see that? That's in the Book of Wisdom and Sound, the fifth chapter. Make it all of this through the Spirit, Lord willing, I'll forget it. So it says, Luke 17 and verse 26 again. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Who's the Son of Man? Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. Verse 27, they did eat, they drank, they married wives, they, give, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. So they were living their radical, um, their day-to-day -day lives, you know. And, and ultimately, they were living in um, folly and madness and ungodliness and, and abominations they were doing, you know, because that that's what made them Lord wanted to show the world because it was wicked as all hell, idolatry, all type of stuff they was going into, you know. And the same thing happening today. You see that same thing happening today all over again, man. People into witchcraft, people into um, adultery, idolatry, um, all type of fornications and all type of wickedness. People does. Um, people do, you know, um, today, you know, we're, that's how, you know, we're living in the days of the son of man, which started 2000 years ago once our Lord came on the scene, you know, so people living their regular day lives, you know, going to the clubs and they just, you know, partying and BSing, you know, they, they eat and they drink and they marrying and act like everything goes sweet and dandy, you know, they're not focusing on getting right before the Lord judges place. You see that? So let's read it one more time from the top. Then there's um, a couple more priests of God lined up. This be something quick, straight to the point. So Luke 17 verse 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, and we know it says Noe, but, you know, you go into the word, um, Noe is Noah, you know, which I believe means rest. So it says, so shall it be also in the days of the son of man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the scriptures say how the Lord shut the doors of the ark, man. The heavenly father, you know, sent the, um, shut the doors. He sent the angel to shut the doors, man. You know what I'm saying? And it could not be opened. So they was, you know, you, you know, if you really visualize it, you know, you probably have people banging on the ark, begging Noah to let him in. You probably, you know, you probably heard kids crying and screaming, old ladies crying and screaming and, you know, people begging, no, open the ark, please, you know, it was too late, man, it was too late, they was mocking them, laughing, you see, and that's the same thing gonna happen in these last days, when all break loose, they're gonna be inquiring of the prophets and asking them certain questions, you know, like, you know, what, what can I do to, you know, to make it and all this, it's too late, you know, right now the Lord got his prophet set up to teach this word and to warn and rebuke and reprove and, ex and exhort through the spirit, but people not taking correction. You know, people thinking we just, you know, people on the corners that got none else better to, better to do, you see? So when our time come, all hope break loose, scripture say Amos was Amos 8 and 11, you know, how the word, it would be a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. Also Ezekiel, the third chapter, how the Lord shut Ezekiel's mouth. You know, he made him dumb, man. Even if he wanted to teach him, he couldn't. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, gonna ha that's gonna happen all over again, man. This, these, these are the days of the son of man. Before that fire comes, before, before our Lord comes, because Luke 12, 49 says what? 
um, our, our Lord, Yahweh Shah, comes to send fire on the earth, and what will lie if it already be kindled? You see that? So it's going to already be fire on the earth, man, or hell breaking loose on, on every side. And also, when our Lord come back in them chariots, the so-called UFOs, they're going to be shooting um, concentrated um, laser beams out of them chariots, man. That's in the book of 2nd, 13th chapter. So this fire is, is, is coming, man. You know, and we're living in the days before it, um, we live in the days of the Son of Man. So before that fire comes, um, the Heavenly Father got a setup where his prophets are teaching what repentance, you know, repent or you're going to perish or you're going to taste of that heat. You're going to die in a famine. You're going to die in pestilences. You're going to die in race wars and class wars. And then ultimately, you're going to get raised up and then you're going to taste that fire. That's in the book of Revelation, you know, so you can't escape in death at all. So you, you got people scripture say what? Um. People are going to be seeking to take their life, but death shall flee from them. You know, people are going to actually want to kill themselves, man. But when they see the nukes coming, people are going to try to shoot themselves in the head. People are going to jump off of buildings. People are going to, you know, slice their throat. You know, they're going to try to kill themselves before that before that fire comes in because they're not going to want to taste that heat. But the Lord going to raise them right back up. They're going to, y'all going to taste it. You cannot, you cannot escape the judgment of the Heavenly Father. You see that? So it says, verse 28, likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, Lot was Abraham's nephew. You know, a lot, he was dwelling in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, the wicked ass cities, you know, where he was practicing all type of LGBT type of shit. You know, it says they did eat, they drink, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. And, um, you know, you go to brimstone, you know, sulfur is one of the elements in brimstone. And I believe sulfur is another uh, element that make up an atom bomb. You know, like you get Isaiah's uh, 54th chapter, and I believe started verse 16. Had Heavenly Father um, created the Smith, and a Smith makes weapons. You know what I'm saying? And the modern day Smiths are these modern day scientists that came up with the nuclear missiles. The German scientists, um, uh, the wise men of Timon, they came up with the nu nuclear missiles. They split the atoms. They split the atom into two, and you know, created the nuclear bombs, stuff like that. Back in I don't know the exact year, but it was like back in like what the had to be like the 40s, 50s, around there. You know, I, I could be mistaken on that, right? But I do know um, through the Spirit. That the Lord put the spirit upon them to be able to get the understanding of how to make a nuclear bomb, you know. And one of the elements that's made up inside of ICBM is sulfur, which you know also makes a brimstone. So that's that same fire and brimstone that hit Sodom and Gomorrah is the same fire that's gonna hit America. You see that? So if you're not in a chariot, if you're not in America, if you're not beamed up in a chariot, you're gonna taste that heat. You cannot escape it. You're gonna taste a hundred million degrees. You can look it up. ICBM missile when it detonates, it literally when it when it um. When people taste that fire, they're gonna they're gonna feel a hundred hundred million degrees, man. That means your whole body gonna melt. The scripture say that in Zechariah 14 and 12, how people gonna stand upon their feet and their flesh gonna, gonna gonna melt away. Their eyes are gonna melt into their eye sockets, their tongue gonna melt into their mouth. You see that? So that's that's terrifying, man. Right? So we're in the days of the Son of Man. Before that day come, you gotta get right, man. You know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. It's time for you to repent and get right. You know, try your best to please the Lord. Keep the commandments at the best of your ability. Because we know we can't keep 100% perfect, but we try our best. You know, it's all about faith in Yahweh Shai and belief. You see that? So the Lord knows those that truly trust in him and fear him. And he's going to deliver them. They're not going to taste this fire, man. You know? Let's read verse 28 again. So it says, Luke 17 and 28. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat. And we know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah a lot. And the Heavenly Father sent the angels, the two angels to um the city. To scope it out and stuff like that And that place was wicked I was all hell And the only one I was found righteous And decided the Lord was Lot Because Lot was a righteous A just man And he was vexed With the filthy conversation Of the wicked You see that So the only ones that made it Out of Sodom and Gomorrah Was Lot His two daughters And Lot told his sons-in-law You know um, um, You know We had to leave Sodom and Gomorrah they ain't, they ain't listen to him You see that So the only ones that made it out Was Lot His two daughters And his wife But guess what His wife looked back you know, you all know the story, you know, um, how Lot's wife got turned to a pillar of salt, meaning she got destroyed because she looked back, meaning she had some type of connection to Sodom and Gomorrah and she, you know, was going to miss it and all of that. That's why the scriptures say, remember Lot's wife. Don't look back. You know what I'm saying? Keep full speed ahead. The kingdom of heaven is not at hand, man. So when this place is going up in flames, you're not going to be sitting there missing the good old days. Oh, I miss my piano. I miss this. And eh, fuck that, man. We out of here. Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So we got to remember Lot's wife and um, so we don't get destroyed. You see that? So it says, uh, likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. They was living their regular lives, you know? But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So right before our Lord come back, man, all men, 
people can be living in. That's what people say, what? The day of the Lord come like a thief in the night. If a thief break into your house at nighttime, you're not expecting it. You just got to deal with it. So that's how the Lord come back. When the Lord come back, people have to t taste that heat. Actually, the scriptures say, you know, say how the Lord going to melt people, man. You see that? And I believe that's what's that? Uh, Ezekiel 22, you know, the whole house of Israel becomes dross. You know, he going to melt them. I'm going to get that in a second. But it's something else I thought about. Lord willing, I'll forget it. Let me see. Matter of fact, I'll read on down. Verse 31, it says, this is Luke 17, 31. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. You see, so we got to forsake things, man. We don't, because literally no, nothing in America is making it into them chairs except, um, except for our spirits. The, the spirit of the um, the elect, they're going to get changed to the new bodies. Because these bodies that we're in right now, now going to be in the chariots. You know, so as we get beamed up, our bodies are going to get changed. You see, so the clothes on us, you know what I'm saying? Our, our slippers, you know what I'm saying? Our house, our car, our keys, none of that is making it. You know, N nothing. Is making it all that gonna taste that fire, everything gonna get melted with fervent heat. You see, so that's why if you're in America, Babylon, great, you gotta get right, man. You know, because only way out of here is some chariots, <laughs> only way out, man. Ain't no underground bunker gonna save you, none of that, right? So it says, uh, one more time from the top, Luke 17 and 31. In that day, he which he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down and take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. So, you know, you try to save your life, you know, you're going to lose it. You know, but if you lose your life for his namesake, you're going to, you know, the Lord will preserve your life, man. Meaning on his side right now, you got to forsake things. You see that? So it says, I tell you, in that night, there shall be two men in one bed and want me under one roof, right? The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken, the other left. So the Lord will be delivering. Um, scripture say, I'll take you one of a family, I believe, two of a family, something like that. You know what I'm saying? The Lord will be delivering his elect. You see, you can have one person make it, someone else not going to make it. You see? So it says, two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken, the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken, and the other left. You see that? And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Whosoever the body is, thither will the, um, um, the eagles be gathered together. You know, so you're going to have the elect get beamed up, one taking the other left. And as a matter of fact, let me get that precept now in Ezekiel. Uh, not Daniel, it's locked in. Ezekiel chapter 22. I'm sorry, 17, and it reads, And the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is, become, is to me become dross. You know what I mean? I believe that word draws. Let me just go into it. I don't want a mistake. Uh, let me see. Where's it at? House Israel has become draws. Where's that word at? It's like, yeah. Why is the word not popping up? Hold on. <clears throat> One second. Let me see. This is the word. No, that's not it. Slug it. Give me one second, Yasha Allah. But I believe it draws, you know, going to like filthy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not popping up. I don't know what's going on with the blue letter right now. But in any event, I'm going to keep reading on down. And little one can be still um, be edifying lesson through spirit. So it says, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. They are all, they are, all they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Which I believe is impurities, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta really look this up. You know what I'm saying? I gotta look it up. I looked it up in times past, but it's been a little minute since I read the scripture. Let me see what pops up right here. So give me one second, Yasha. I'll find this precept. Uh, where is it at? But the point I'm about to bring out, man, listen, this is this should, this should move you with fear. You know, the scripture I'm about to bring out. Is this it? So give me one second, Yasha Allah. My finest. Right here. Draws definition. It says something regarded as worthless rubbish. You know? Trash. Garbage. You know? That's what that's going into. So it says, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. We became like trash, man. You know, worthless because we was going off. Right? 
all they are brass and tin and that and today that's the wicked Israelites, you know, those that you know don't repent, don't believe on Yahweh Bashem El Shai, they're dross in the sight of the Lord. It says, All they are, are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace, there are even the dross of silver. Now watch this. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashem El Shai, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin in the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury. So the Heavenly Father is upset, you know, with his people, you know, certain amount, because the remnant he will have mercy on, right? So it says, I will gather you in mine anger and my and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Come on now. So those that get left behind, like I read in Luke 17 chapter, how one gonna be taken on the left, those that get left, they will get melted, man. From there, let's get the book of uh, Zechariah, chapter 14, and verse 12, and it reads, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall, shall consume away in their mouth. You see that? So they're going to, that's people getting melted. <laughs> Literally, picture that. You know, people's eyes are going to consume away in their, in their holes. The tongue gonna consume away in their mouth. You see that? Look at 2 Peter 3 and verse 10. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. You know, so what man a person ought you to be understanding and knowing that these things are coming? Like during, during the time of Noah with the flood, you know, I believe it took them 120 years to build the ark and everything like that. They seen a dedication, they seen the faith Noah had. You know, he's, pre he's a preacher of righteousness. Did they get right? No. The Lord drowned, they asked. All of them. And that's a terrible way to die when you drown. Because I believe when you're drowning, you feel like your body's on fire from in the inside because your lungs burst and everything like that. It's, that's a terrible way to go out, man. You know, and same thing with fire, getting burned to death. You know, and I imagine 100 million degrees. That's what we're preaching. We're letting people know that fire is coming. We're in the days of the Son of Man. You know, when our Lord comes back, He's coming back to send fire, and it's already gonna be fire kindled because He's coming back simultaneously as um, World War Three can be popping off. And we know World War III not gonna be a war just fought, fight, um, fought with um, guns and tanks. It can be fought with nuclear missiles. You know, that's why they created nuclear missiles, man. They, they, put, they ain't created to have it on display. They created to use it. And that's exactly what they plan on doing, man. You see that? So I got a couple more through the spirit. Let me see. Look at Jude chapter 1 verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, they was into, into um, you know, they was moles. You know, they was moles, man. And less. It was on no type of weird stuff in Sodom and Gomorrah, and wicked Hamites. So it says, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example. So that was an example, right? Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So if you live, if you want to live that lifestyle, you know, this is going to happen to you. That's why the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's left as a, an example for those afterward that should live ungodly. Let's get that next. You know, so they, they, they tasted that heat. Let me see. If I can find this precept. Uh, where is it at? Oh, yeah, Second Peter 2 and verse 6. And I might start up some. Yeah, I'm going to start up. I'm going to start up some, right? Then we get to the point. Second Peter 2, and I'm going to start up verse 4. For if the Most High, Yahweh Bashim El Shah, spare not the angels that sin against um, the Israelites, but cast them down to hell, you know, this condition, this captivity we in, and deliver them to chains of darkness, this, this body that we in, to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And this lesson was inspired by the elder Manasseh Zakba. He did a lesson going to the days of Noah. He, you know, he recorded that video that was on Amazon, going to the, you know, um, Noah's Ark and the days of Noah stuff like that. Which is, it's a good watch. You know, you gotta, you know, uh, chew the meat, spit out the bones, because we know that these people didn't look like that back then. They wasn't looking like Edomites and all of that. But it's still a good watch. You know what I'm saying? He also did another lesson, you know, going to um, uh, uh, the days of Noah, basically, through the spirit. You see? So we're in the, we're in the days of Noah 2.0, right? The prophets are out there preaching righteousness, you see? So it says, 
and spare not the old world. So th this shows the mercy and wrath for the Most High. Because he only had mercy on Noah, his three sons, and their wives. He didn't have mercy upon the rest of the people. You know, yeah, he, he showed forth his wrath by destroying everyone else. And he showed his mercy by saving Noah and his, and his family. Right? Then it said, to spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. You see, so that's an example. And what did what did um, America do? They legalized, you know, mo marriage. You know, I'm trying to use my words wisely because they'll take it on this video, call it hate speech and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Which shows, man, we we're at the end. This this place has got to go. Back then, that was not tolerated, man. Nowadays, they legalizing it and everyone walking around. They they skipping and you know and dancing and you know looking like it's regular to be that way, man. No. That's wicked ass off, and the Lord gonna destroy this place. America, yo, this country is gonna get burnt up, man. You see that? And we're prophesying, we're preaching this, we're warning people that this is gonna happen. You see that? We're in the days of the Son of Man. So it says, and deliver just Lot. So in Sodom and Gomorrah, the Lord only had mercy on Lot, and deliver just Lot and his two daughters, of course, and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. So Lot was vexed, you know, when he was inside Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's us today. We're, we're vexed when we in living in America, it's vexing. You know, this place is just, you know, it, it vexes our spirit. It gets us mad. Salaki Akim, um, I got a phone call, but let's read on down. So I'm reading from the top. So it's the second Peter chapter two, and I'm at verse, where I'm at? I'll read verse six again. So it says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. So the Lord only had mercy upon Lot and his two daughters. See that? So the same mercy that the Lord showed Lot, showed Noah, you know, he's going to show that upon the elect of the nation of Israel. You see? So we, un we understand what? Um, that this place in America about to get burnt up to a crisp. And there's more precepts, precepts I can get on it. Let me see what else I got lined up. Oh, yeah, Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13 and verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. And it's going to, um, basically how the Lord is going to stir up the other nations against America, Babylon, the Great. Which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity upon on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, America, Babylon the Great, you know, the mother of harlots, right? The glory of kingdoms and the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when the Most High, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You see that? So, the same way the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, that's how you're going to destroy America, Babylon the Great. That fire and that brimstone in the form of ICBM nuclear missiles. So verse 20, it says, It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to, ger to generation. Right? So after America get burnt up, it can be left as a memorial of what wickedness is. You know, the kingdom of heaven. We're not going to, you know, um, um, send the heathen to build a, um, palaces here in America. No, this place is going to be a no man's land. It's going to be a desert. You see that? And when our kids ask us about this place, we're going to let them know that's, that's, that's wickedness right there. You know, that's that's an example for anyone that want to live ungodly and live wickedly. You see, it's me left as a memorial, man. See, because it says it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pins tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. It's going to be like one big desert. You got wild beasts of the desert laying there. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there and satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons shall and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So this all this is coming to America, Babylon the Great. So right now we're living in, this, in, a, in the days of the Son of Man before the Lord make a second coming, and we're prophesying that that fire is coming. So the Heavenly Father destroyed the old world. You know, the first death was with the flood. The second death is what fire and brimstone. This is the second death. Let me get that next. Then I got like one more after that, and I'll be the lesson. So I pray he was edified through the spirit. Uh, it says, let me see. <clears throat> right? Right here. Revelation 20. And this shows that people that try to escape that fire, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people that try to kill themselves and all of that, the Lord gonna raise you up, you're still gonna taste that heat. It's gonna prove it right here. Pro, um, Revelation 20 and verse 12. And it says, and I saw the dead. I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the Most High, and their books and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, 
and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to his works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So you can't escape. You know, people that try to take these take, take their lives, you're not gonna escape. You're still gonna get judged according to your works. And you're gonna still taste that heat. You're gonna be cast to the lake of fire. And then it said, This is the second death. Verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life. So if you're not found written in the land's book of life, was cast to the lake of fire. So if you're not written in that book, you're getting thrown to the lake of fire. You know, you're gonna taste that, that, that heat, 100 million degrees, man. So that's what we're prophesying. So I'm ending off with Matthew, the 24th chapter. And I just pray this, you know, edifying straight to the point. Right. So Matthew chapter 24, and I'm going to start at verse 29. Right. And it reads, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the sound of and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So those that's the elect of those that are in the book of life. They're not gonna taste that fire. See that? So when our Lord comes back, everyone gonna see him, everyone gonna mourn, they're gonna wail, they're gonna lament, they're gonna be terrified, because he come back with power and great glory. And they're, gonna, and they're gonna know in the back of their demonic ass mind that this is it for them. You see? So only the elect gonna make it. And the scripture say how the elect was affrighted, but gave glory to the power of heaven. You see that? The elect gonna be, the scripture say what? The righteous shall scarcely be saved. You see that? So what happened, What about the ungodly and the sinner? Where they gonna appear at? Right? Let's read on down. So it says, verse 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree when its branches yet tender and put it forth leaves. Do you know that summer is not? So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Right? What things? The signs. So we know this day is coming very soon. That's why it's time to get right. You know, our salvation there than when we believe, man. Right? It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass until all these things be fulfilled. So the same generation that, that was there during the time of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, when he was on the scene, they're back on the earth, man. That same generation, man. The believers, the disciples, the apostles, the prophets. You know what I'm saying? You got the um, scribes, the Pharisees. You got the wicked scribes, Pharisees. You got the, you know, the Sakari, they're back. The, you know, different zealot groups. You know, unbelievers. You know, they're everyone back, man. That whole generation is back on this earth. You know, and they're going to get judged. You know, according to their work, whether it be good, whether it be evil. Verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour know of no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. You see that? So I pray you was edified through spreading Pavi Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give Koh Halayim La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rechakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the likes God of the broad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say while Baba Ball, Shalom. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eye shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and the houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. I'll watch
And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and then that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Rock that you have a shot. Rock that you have a shot. Rock that you have a shot.